and I say welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here welcome my name is Pila and please do not forget to subscribe and also switch on your post notifications so that you will get a notification whenever I upload a new video if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch another video I really do appreciate today's video is a vlog if you watched my previous video you then saw that i traveled and i went home in the eastern cape so i'm basically sharing what i got up to right so i wasn't able to vlog each and everything that went down because i also wanted to be in the moment i wanted to enjoy my time with my family but i was able to give you guys good 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 shots of what was going on So I started this vlog when I was cleaning and guys I was at my granny's place I believe you saw from the previous vlog. So one thing about Eastern Cape it will rain and there was mud that's my uncle. Anyways as I was saying if it rains there's definitely gonna be mud so the house gets so dirty and guys as you saw I put hot water in the water that I was using to mop because water from the tank is super cold. While I was mopping, my aunt came in um, because she wanted to take something from the fridge. While I was still looking at that, my sister also came and started taking things out. I had to literally stop because, wow. Um, so I had to start mopping from scratch because I had to wait for them to finish. And while I was waiting for them to finish, I started off with boiling my rice. I love food and I also love cooking. So I just basically boil the rice and put a bit of parsley. And then here I'm just boiling potatoes, keeping it simple. When I was done cleaning, I then then prepped the meat that I was going to cook. I wanted to cook chicken. So here I was rinsing the chicken and plucking off any feathers that were left. If you're wondering why I don't cook everything at one go, it's because the electricity there is very weak. So I was only able to use two plates at a time so that the electricity would not trip. For my meats, I used the Raja Flavorful and Mild Curry Powder and the Seven Colors Grill Seasoning. I also used garlic and ginger. I love this so much. Last but not least, I also added a stock cube. So I fried my onion and bell peppers, then added curry powder and the crushed garlic and ginger, and then I fried it till the onion was soft. I then added my meat, then added the seasoning and the stock cube. I fried the meat a little bit and then I added water and left it to simmer. While the meat was cooking, I then prepped cabbage. So guys at home, in every meal that we have, you need to have vegetables of which one of the vegetables, it needs to be green. So today's green was cabbage. And guys, for some weird reason, I really enjoy chopping cabbage. I just think it's therapeutic, honestly. Please do let me know in the comment section down below if you also love chopping cabbage or not. Anyways guys, so I just added salt and boiled it guys i totally forgot to take a picture of the food but it was so nice later that day we then went to cook the traditional beer mixture that was prepared early early in the morning and as you can see i changed what i was wearing because i had to wear something that is fireproof <laughs> i had to protect my legs and also i had color mine on my face because i wanted to protect my face from burning and according to tradition i'm not allowed to put anything on my head while we are preparing traditional beer when we were done cooking the traditional beer porridge we poured it into bowls and left it to cool off and i also had a bit of it i really enjoyed this then we also prepared amacheu unfortunately i couldn't share the whole process of making the traditional beer because i was busy so it was hard for me to take videos in between and stuff it was the following day so the beer had fermented so it was time for us to to yo i forgot what it is in english guys sorry about that if you know what is ukama in english please do drop it in the comment section down below anyway so here we were one was for friday and then the other one was for saturday so here air friday guys obviously we had to taste it <laughs> just the disclaimer guys the room was not skew the room is not skew it's the camera angle that is making it look like that i laughed so hard when i was editing this because i'm like what is going on <laughs> 
On this day, I was able to start vlogging early, early in the morning. I started my day with Herbalife tea. I always like having tea in the morning. I added a slice of lemon just for flavor. And I enjoy having my cup of tea outside, like in the morning. It, I feel like it's so refreshing just to clear my head and enjoy my tea. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you saw that I did that a lot when I was at home. After having my cup of tea, I then went to clean Gusuk's corner because that's the room that was going to be used for people that were coming. Um, I'm sure you guys have figured it out. Ugutu were doing traditional beer, so there was going to be something that was happening. So I was cleaning where people were going to sit and where we were going to have our prayer session and stuff. While I was cleaning, my aunt came to tell me that breakfast was ready, so I went to go and eat. This is what we had for breakfast on that day. We had liver and egg and steamed bread. While I was waiting for the house to be dry because I mopped, I forgot to take a video of that. I went to watch my granny. She was finishing off the last process of Amakewu. Because of time, I couldn't watch or rather record everything because I had to go and um, put on the curtains. There was a lot that needed to be done on that day. Um, here I was wiping the chairs. They were going to bring more chairs. So I was just wiping the ones that were already there. Alright, here this is Kamake guys. Remember I told you all this Uba Friday and then also Uba Saturday making me fight you too. So here there's a Kanyo if I just been and I had to take off in the Bendy Twilight Loco because of tradition and I did mention that to you guys before. After that gay guys it was time to chop 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 woo sack oba sack oba sack oba anyways so we're preparing for upeka ukutya kwasemini so that abantu xa befika even aba babazoza bezonce this at least they'll find that we've chopped most of the things and peeled certain things etc Okay guys, so I discovered a time lapse on my phone and I've been literally using that ever since I discovered it. As you can see, my videos are fast because I was using time lapse. Hi guys, I actually haven't been talking but only doing videos because of time. So now I'm just putting cooking oil to my hands because I have to do a beetroot. So I'm going to chop beetroot. It's already cooked and stuff, so I'm just putting oil. I think I need to take off my ring as well because I need to put oil so that my hands will not be red for long. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching till this far. I'm not sure what else is still going to be done or when I'm going to end this vlog. And I hardly get time to even speak. Oh my gosh, I look so crusty. But it's okay, you guys know when I look crusty, I look crusty. When I look good, I look good. So for now, I'm looking all crusty and stuff. Oh, 
Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching till this far. I really do appreciate and please do not forget to give this video a massive thumbs up. Also share this video and also don't forget to comment. Just give me a heart in the comment section. I really do appreciate that. I'm actually preparing for Vlogmas. I'm so excited. I am going to do Vlogmas for the first time. I know it's going to be challenging but I'm actually going to do my best. So yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.